Hello everyone, welcome to Ravindra Watt and um, yeah One Piece is on break this week so I figured alright let's just talk about One Piece Don't really get that many chances because I picked up a lot of series to review uh, Kind of hoping I had not done that but uh, I'm planning on increasing it, <laughs> it even more It's so um yeah one Piece 1015 and 16 Pretty epic chapters if I do say so myself Self and Yeah, I can't exactly wait for the next chapter review to show up uh, Because Yeah, I made some alterations in the wanted posters It's just not really that much, just added another photo picture uh, um, And if you guys know me, you know who it is if you guys don't know me, then wait. That's all I have to say. And quick mention, she's my favorite Sundara. Right after Vegeta, probably. Even though I have not seen Dragon Ball Z in its entirety. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So one piece. Uh, Luffy using voice of all things. It was kind of implied that he can use it like on Zo because of his communication with Tunisia. Yeah, but he was not able to order him around like Momonosuke. Why is that? Right, so... Okay, some people threw out the theory like, okay, Zonisha was waiting for a particular order from a particular person. Luffy not being that person, Possibly at that point in the time, time, Zunisha just ignored him, just like Zeus did with Navi, giving him the weirdest name as Wata, which basically means cotton. So that's my take. Okay, Momo being a member of the Kozuki clan, he wanted an order from Kozuki, he got an order from Kozuki. Okay, that's one thing, and other, it, it like. He was punished by the Kozuki clan, was waiting for an order from a Kozuki or Joy Boy. Hasn't really implied that much, but I figured like, okay, world government, not a utopia. Yeah, not a good government. Joy Boy mentioned, okay, interesting. In before world government existed, so I'm guessing things were different, so I'm guessing the world was a better place in which everyone lived happily ever after. So Zunisha might be feel like one of those giant elephants, giant elephants. And, and can anyone explain me how the hell Beppo made it to the north? Uh, yeah, I might have a theory on that one actually. So Zunisha is like humongous, so... Red line, Zunisia. Just walk straight up that. Right, like he is a friend of mine and was like punished to roam the world. New world not really mentioned, mind you, entirety of the world. That includes other blues. So we might see more minks. Yeah, they kinda are, but you know, other crews won't make much of a difference because they can just come from Zo now. But uh, you get the idea. So, um, yeah, how the hell did Luffy communicate with Momonosuke? Voice of all things, that's the only explanation. Nation, like, okay, so what the hell is Voice of all things? Well, pretty much self explanatory. It's a voice. That lets you talk to everything. Basically, translating out to voice of all things. Now, my question is what are the limits? Because communication is sort of like a pretty major thing in warfare. If you've seen Dr. Stone, you know that like the biggest thing that Senko made during the Stone Wars was like a freaking tank. But in preparation, he made a telephone. Now that I think about it, it didn't really accomplish that much, much except capturing Womara. Uh, so that's something. It 
it was able to catch a fighter that can't fight um no oh, man <sighs> during that time didn't do much when that tank did do something it was only because of the tanks like what they made with what they had in the tank that they were able to make nitroglycerin in and put it in a steel mat and then he got it straight like, did i tell you he was the second favorite character Parent of the Stone, and I'm rewatching the entire series right now. It now, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so currently, I'm only watching. I'm currently questioning my sanity. T, but if you have read the manga, you know what I'm talking about. And if you have not read the manga, then read the manga. It's freaking amazing. Amazing. And why the hell am I making suggestions over here? Okay, okay, so where was I? Um, yeah, seriously, where was I? Was <laughs> I um? Yeah, so I think it's just worse of all things, and Luffy just oh, okay, I need to communicate with Momonosuke. <sighs> Send out his willpower, or a huge as burst of conquerors hockey. That might be more of like the thing, like okay, uh, I'm parting this particular message on my will. I'm gonna release that now, and someone with the voice of all things can hear it. Yeah, maybe that makes sense because, like, okay, you can hear stuff. What's the point of conquerors hockey like other than that? Because you can fight with it now. You'd figure there are other uses for it. Like, okay, you can use observation in various ways, than more ways than one. It's not just for your side. You can also have the emotion sensing. In part of that, Oto he may have that still kind of unexplained, but most people guess it's that. That it's the future side, the power sensing ability. That's never really brought up, brought up, but can do that. That armor mind can send it flying, can send it like destroy object from inside, it and. Make Kokuto's black blades that are indestructible change the color of objects. It's and I'm now just exaggerating. So that's that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what he did. It sent out like a solid burst of conquerors, like fused with a message. It's that can only be heard by the ones that have the voice of all things, being Momonosuke in this case. Okay, so. The panels in the chapter were kind of like, eh. eh. So it's, it was really not that clear. Was it only Momonosuke that heard him, or was it Kaido too? Yeah, I'm guessing it was only Momonosuke that heard him. Then because if Kaido had heard him, the first thing he would have done was like squish that frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that's my story. And as to how can how were the heart pirates able to hear him? I mean, the poor time doesn't make that much sense, right? Because okay, they don't have voice of all things. They probably picked up on like some sort of sonar or something. Thing like okay, we're having a sonar and found Luffy. Who is emitting this weird as wavelength? Length, so we can hear it. But machines can work like that. Like, okay, you are sending a wave. Let's just get like a bit of Doctor Stone. You're sending out a wave that can be heard only by certain people with certain as powers. Okay, still has to have something. Like okay, they're picking up on a sonar, and it has written words. It, what does sonar do? Like emit sounds, and then I don't really, I don't really remember what the sonar does, but something like that that you use somebody in in that can pick up voices. Like okay, that might be that, and or the or etc. Just like okay. Send it out. Everyone can hear me. Uh, and I've got a question for conquerors. Okay, if Luffy coats his skin like extra thick with conquerors, Saki, 
plus I don't mind huggy. Like it's this thick, like look at this thick. And will the water be able to reach him? Like it dips his hand in water, will the water wet his hand or like it, it will just okay water's not touching me because then he can swim. Possibly, I don't really know, but uh, so far I can't use hockey in water. That's that and that kind of sucks. Mm. Okay, next chapter. Uh, I've been on that long enough. I don't really feel like Kinemon dying. We are talking about Kinemon's death, but this is one piece, so you never know. Oh, um, yeah. So, yeah. Momo is probably gonna get past his fear of heights. It's unsafe, Shinobu now. Or Shinobu can use her gliding. That glider thingy that ninjas have. Have to say Momonosuke. Scale. Honestly, it would go either way. I'm, I'll be fine with it. And then, what I prefer is Momonosuke being like, okay, I need to save her. Um, yeah, it was a stupid move. Uh, but all right, I saved you now. I'm, I'm gonna drop you there at mainland Wano, and I'm gonna take Luffy, who has a decent chance, and to Kaido, who will now then I will then they'll kick each other, kick each other's asses. <laughs> Oh god, that sentence in Tadum. Tadum. Okay, so that's that. Next up, next chapter. Okay, Nami Slam Attack. Um, yeah, it's a legitimate home, you know, and it can just do a, pretty much anything he wants. Once, like, okay, he can make any weapon he wants. We might get to see Nami with an axe now, because that was sort of the original design with Nami, like a cyborg arm and an axe. A battle axe, which actually was used already. <laughs> Are doing like a giant from the new joint pirates? Right, so maybe not, but possibly. And I know I'm not the first one to throw that out. Redline was so weird, right? Not like they're gonna watch this. <laughs> this, and even if you guys think that I should mention them, I already mentioned them, so you can't tell me anything. Think, right? Yeah, that's how you play psychology. Pretty sure they would be proud of me. Right then? <laughs> yeah, I figured. Good, so let's screw that part and. Yeah, get to somewhere that I wanna get to. Yamato. Oh, man, the. the haven't there been a crap that here is about Yamato, right? It, yeah, right. Mm, it's sudden there. Like she pretty much just like said, I am going with Luffy after I kick you out of this country. So I'm guessing that's what she's gonna do. Do because you know <laughs> there never has been a situation where someone else asked Luffy to join their crew. Sort of. There was an entire incident of the Grand Fleet. It, but uh, yeah, no one cared about that. <laughs> Who the hell was like hitting Rasurosa and thinking like, oh man, Luffy's gonna accept every single one of them. And everyone was like, okay, try it all you want. He's not gonna accept you guys anyway. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he and Nick. I started like, in the middle of one of Nukuni. Me, before chapter 1000, I had caught up. Making start making reviews in like around 1004. Oh, and here I am now. Oh, please share this video. And you know, I don't really know what the hell I'm gonna do. Do but, um, yeah, I am planning some epic Dr. Stone content if you got my steel. And yeah, you're gonna love that one. And because I'm currently in the middle of it. Collecting info on characters and pretty, I pretty much just said what I was gonna do. But don't worry, it will be coming pretty soon. Hmm. Okay, Yamato versus Kaido. 
Heck, made a video about this. Today? Yeah. Yes, it was today. I didn't really know. I saw it today. Hey, who the hell cares? Uh, so, yeah. Yamato yeah, is not the one who's gonna beat Kaido. Um, would it be cool? Definitely. Clearly, would I want that to happen? Would I want that to happen? Mm, I don't mind. Who the hell cares? Just let Yamato yeah, kick Kaido's kind of ass. As that'd be that'd be fun. And like first Magna kicks us, then Yamato kicks us, pretty much just improving and solidifying. And get in the fan base like okay, she's joining the crew and being a total Oda and troll every single one by Nope, she's not. <laughs> oh crap, now that I think about it, you might actually do that. But <laughs> don't do that. Literally no one wants that. Right. Okay, um Yeah, I'm hoping that she fights him. Not entirely beats him because it is a show in Hama. <laughs> and then even if the main protagonist doesn't do shiz, he's gonna win the tournament arc. Eric like Dr. Stone. Literally all Sen could did was like step on a step on a like fake spear here and that was kept over the watermelon and then one kick and he became the chief of the village which oh crap now uh, let's get somewhere else. else okay so yeah she's not gonna beat him her powers that's something interesting because a lot of people have been talking about it that um the dx a super huge ass dinosaur the mythical white tiger tiger <laughs> anyone will work she has a devil fruit that's pretty much confirmed and because of the jagged teeth that we saw oh so that's that but uh, yeah probably the white tiger because of the byako co devil fruit because makes sense dragons and tigers don't get along um so yeah, I'm hoping that's that. She knows our moment happy. That's pretty much given. And any character that shows up now in the series knows our moment happy. And observation hockey. The sole exceptions being Frankie, Usopp, Robin, Nami, Chopper, Brooke. Look. Yeah. Uh, six members of the Straw Hat crew. Not a great track record. Good for them. Robin might awaken it. Usopp sort of has observation. Shin Chopper has no hope. <laughs> like, okay, Brock might hit um, Nami. But she need armament hockey. Like <laughs> she and this. Okay, Zeus become a shield. Damn, bam. Um, like, Zeus is a tank. More like a cloud, but he is a tank. And this is not the glass cannon anyway. Stick him with, like, have a team up with Usopp. So he can, he's pretty good at defense. And, 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 yeah. Okay, a pretty controversial opinion. And, possibly outrageous. Carrot! <laughs> is she gonna join the crew? Who <laughs> Because the chances are, like, around. Zero. No one gives it. I have heard her anymore. But like people do want her to join. So yeah, I seriously doubt she's not join because like she's way too weak. Like I mentioned that in like a previous video. Like the straw hats, if one or two teams up up with each other, they can beat a Yonko commander. I chose like. Rather as an example because he's the weakest out of all of them. Maybe Snack too. Throw in Snack as well. They might be able to beat Snack. Like, and Cracker. And uh, yeah, they are fighting like young co executives at this point. And anyway, so bam, they can. And I said that like, okay, Frankie can take down Cracker. Maybe with a little bit of help from Nami he and Chopper, Chopper and Nami team up, Crackers down and Robin Nami team up, Crackers down 
लूवियन नाम की टीम ने दैट टुक क्रैकर डाउन जी में नो प्रॉब्लम वन ऑन वन जोरो आल्सो इवन जोरो लाइक ओके माइट हैव टू स्ट्रगल अ बिट लाइक एक बस्ट आउट आशुरा रा एंड आशुरा प्लस इचीडी इची डाई डाई सेंसकाय है टू लाइक स्लाइस थ्रू इट प्रॉब्ली नॉट दैट मच बट यू गेट द पिक्चर द पिक्चर आर लाइक कट राइट थ्रू द बिस्किट इट आर मर एंड कट हिम डाउन probably one on one but uh, okay just as like a personally measure with nami paite was as next up brock with nami can to beat him him also okay this is an interesting one but you might just be like okay not possible at all he might be cracker one on one and because like okay he fights with plants plants need water and remember the thing that he used on like pang hazard that the grew his black cow to big fill it up with water man and just like bam throw it at him and this was a soft as hell exploding star exploding plant exploding seed exploding pine cone cone and then just bombard the crap out of him crackers down he is not getting up Uh, give him prep time. Usopp can be cracker. Uh, snack kind of okay. No, probably not. But but yeah, but no, you have a question. And and uh, who did carry last two in a tag team match? Terus Terus. And now Nakamura Mushi has to finish that fight. It Dan said he was probably the weakest. Just remember out of like everyone on Onigashima. um king queen jack um kind of end of the group um smoothie yeah i don't really see much of her her but okay big mom kaido and the ninjas and the samurai are looking for or orochi yeah he got the biggest just out of all of them Slampe was also there, there. But um, out of the main fighters, he is the weakest. Just, and could it even beat the crap out of him? Mm-hmm. We don't want you. And as far as well, they need to have a scout. They can't have a. They can't sell a ship without a scout. And Zoro does the job pretty well. Hell yeah. And like, why the hell does he have to join them? Like, all the slots are full. Extra muscle. <laughs> she is strong. That that's the reason. Even she is a combatant. And like Zoro, even Zoro doesn't have like an official duty. He fights. That's that's a job. Open the crew. Oh, okay. That's sort of the way. And the video is now being elongated by me. I am gonna stop blabbing now. Thing now. And yeah, that's that. Those are basically the latest developments. Anything like the past two chapters that I haven't talked about. Yeah, I did kind of talk about like kid and big mom in one, and check out that video too. So it's kind of like in the middle of it, hit. So yeah, check out my future allies video. Link in the description probably. So see you guys there if you want to. I'll highly suggest going out and checking it out. Good and. Um, Yeah, let's say our mantra to that accelerator is the most badass character in all of fiction as far as I know. Sign up.